Hello everyone. This is the SWOT analysis for a business strategy 4302. I'm Chateau Sicure and I'm a student uh, at UHD, University of Houston downtown. Um, my area of study is uh, uh, business administration and supply chain management. My current employer is Baker Hughes, a uh, GE company, which used to be before the new acquisition by GE, it used to be only GE Oil and Gas. Now with the new acquisition, uh, we per GE purchased um, Baker Hughes, and now we are Baker Hughes, a GE company, which is now a full stream digital industrial company. So uh, I'm originally from Brazil, uh, which I came to the US back in 2002. Uh, I used to live uh, in the northern uh, eastern part of Brazil, which the city is called João Pessoa, state of uh, Par Paraíba. And in 2002, I went, uh, came to the states uh, in, in the state of Texas and uh, more precisely in the city of Austin, Texas, where I went to uh, high school. And after completing high school, I stayed there for a little while, went to Houston, uh, and then went back to Austin, and back again to Houston, where I started going to college. I'm also, uh, I got married in Austin uh, in 2013, and now, uh, me and my wife will live here in Houston. A little bit about me. Uh, I enjoy and watch and play soccer. Uh, I love practicing sports. I um, consider myself a very inactive person. Uh, I try to stay active uh, at least 30 minutes uh, on a daily basis or as much as possible. I enjoy being, I enjoy the outdoors, uh, practicing sports, being active and overall. It just, it makes you, it makes me feel better uh, in my daily uh, activities at work or what else, whatever uh, else I'm doing. So also, I really love going to the beach. Um, I enjoy just staying there, relaxing. It's pretty much doing nothing. And I, I try to go to the beach at least uh, once a year. Uh, I try to go to new places and then just discover new things and, it is always a good experience uh, when you go to, uh, to different places and uh, enjoy, enjoy the different uh, beaches over there. Uh, some fun facts about me. I am uh, fluent in three languages, which is uh, English, Portuguese, and Spanish. Again, uh, again being from Brazil, uh, we, know, we speak Portuguese over there. <clears throat> and then I learned Spanish uh, here in high school, uh, which was... Uh, relatively easy for me because when I got here, I didn't know much English, so I had to talk in Spanish and just communicate with people. And that uh, made my Spanish, I, I'd be really good at Spanish, so I speak and write in Spanish as well. Also, I enjoy uh, cooking and discovering new recipes. Um, I, find, I, find, I find very relaxing just whenever I have a couple of free time, just going uh, through YouTube and, uh, some uh, booking, some books and discovering new uh, foods and just cooking some new things it, and it turned out to be really good. So I, that's something else I enjoy, being, enjoy doing it. Now uh, my SWOT analysis, uh, my SWOT analysis uh, I broke down into four uh, pieces here, like as you guys can see. So let's talk a little bit about my strengths. Uh, uh, I'm a great analytical, I have great analytical skills, which uh, it helps me. I mostly acquired that through uh, my career and work experience. Uh, it made me stand out from other people that have great analytical skills and I map situations very easy and uh, it puts me ahead of a competition. I have also ability to prior prioritize that also I it made me I got that through my career experience so through different positions that I had and that I have it makes it makes easier for you to do your daily activities when you prioritize your your tasks 
and just do what it, what needs to be done first, and then the other things you you add and on throughout the day. I also have a positive attitude throughout the day. I'm very positive about my work, school. Even though it might be a little hard at times, I keep myself motivated and positive to uh, throughout the throughout the course. My weaknesses. Uh, I believe one of my weaknesses is a sharing responsibility. I tend to be kind of set back when I give someone a responsibility for them to do because uh, maybe I'm thinking on the back of my head that they're not going to do correctly. So I, I keep uh, checking on the, the person or checking to make sure things are going well. And I keep like very, uh, very on top of it. So people might, might find that I, I don't share a lot of responsibilities because it's not because I don't want to share responsibilities, but I want it to be perfect. So that's why uh, I think it's one of my weaknesses. I need to work better on that a little bit more. Another thing is uh, providing feedback. Feedback. Um, I I believe that sometimes the way I provide feedback to other people, uh, it may seem a little bit harsh to them, but not necessarily. I. I just again I, I just want things to be perfect. I I'm I just want again I, I just want things to be perfect. So maybe when I give them a constructive feedback, I might be a little bit harsh, but I'm not just, you know, putting them down or anything like that. I'm I'm firm, but for them uh it may seem a little bit harsh. Another of my weaknesses, uh, it was at least a public speaking. Again, it was something very like difficult for me, like just to go out there and like talk to people and then talk to a bigger crowd. But this is something that I overcame throughout the years, and I'm, I'm getting better at it every day. And uh, I've I believe I improved uh, a lot. Uh, some of the opportunities that I see, it's a career growth. So I I plan on expanding my career and uh, learn new things and. Uh, just uh, keep what I'm doing uh, uh, right now and uh, attending events and all that to grow my career, uh, which is uh, in the area of the supply chain. Also, uh, another uh, opportunity that I, I, I see is uh, making savvy investments. Uh, I plan on making investments such as uh, on the stock market, uh, possibly buying uh, real estates and uh, so on um, also I would say acquiring certificates uh, that would be I plan on doing that don't I plan on doing that after I graduating uh, I want to get some uh, uh, supply chain certificates that would make me a better professional and that's something I plan on doing and, and just uh, enhancing my my career uh, threats I would say Sometimes, especially in the oil uh, industry, the market down, downturn at times, it can be uh, kind of frustrating uh, with uh, lately, I mean, not lately, but a couple of years we saw, especially in Houston, a lot of people getting laid off. So that's why it's important for you to be on top of the game and have a lot of certificates because when you see that you were a qualified professional, uh, when the market's down, and that would help you stand out and stay in your job. Also, another threat that I would say is a competitive. It's a supply chain is a very a very uh, competitive industry. So again, you have to be on top of your game. Uh, you have to be uh, very good in what you do uh, to make sure that you stand out. And also, new technologies. Uh, lately, there have been a couple of new technologies uh, in the supply chain area. More, no more like towards the supply chain itself but more towards the logistics uh and the ports and all that so but it's it's always something that you have to keep on uh, learning uh for you to be uh for you to be able to be on top of the game uh my goals uh, my short-term goals uh right now is graduate of course from the uhd in uh, may 2018 uh, Basically, I've, I've been studying, going to uh, work, and right now this is my last class. My last class, so I'm very happy. 
that I'll be graduating this year. Uh, another short-term goal is buy a house in 2018. Uh, me and my wife, uh, we're currently looking for that right now, looking uh, some options. So this is something that is uh, will be done this year. My midterm goals is to start, when I finish um, my degree is uh, starting working towards uh, getting a supply chain professional certification, which is the uh, Apex. Uh, so on a, I want to work on that. Uh, it's it takes a lot of a studying, so takes a quite a uh, quite a time for you to prepare yourself it can be anywhere from the three to six months so after I graduate I want to plan uh, uh, give it a little break to myself and start uh, working towards that also my midterm goal uh, when I acquire a certification is uh, start working towards a master's degree and again this will be uh, a master's in the business area uh, it could be in supply chain and other uh, business area, but I think I would say within supply chain and I plan on doing that within the next um, two to three years. Uh, my long-term goal uh, is uh, of course complete the master's degree. And this is, uh, I would say five years from now uh, to complete that if possible less, uh, but this is between the four to five years or more. I also have the goal of only uh, a fine dining restaurant. Again, as I uh, put it out there, I love cooking. I like uh, trying new things, and uh, a fine dining restaurant is something that I I can see myself only and uh, you know using my my knowledge uh, that acquired in school and work and a professional to to have a dining a dining restaurant, and also having multiple sources of income. Uh, again, I plan to uh, own, uh, possibly buying houses and renting, uh, uh, maybe uh, investing in the stock, mar stock market, uh, buying the lands. Uh, that's something I plan on doing. <clears throat> also, my conclusion, uh, this is something that I put together. So basically, a goalless life is equivalent to a purpose purposeless life, and uh, hence is Hence, a useful, useless life. Having goals uh, keeps a reason to work hard towards, to work, work hard today and long for tomorrow. It is the drive that keeps people uh, moving, no matter the challenges, as they maintain their eyes focused on the bigger picture. Formulation of meaningful and relevant goals is an intense exercise that many get, that many get it wrong, and therefore, ended up failing regarding achieving the targets the target set. It is therefore important to come up with goals after a full SWOT analysis, which enables one to know what fits him the best, hence make it realistic and achievable goals. So I believe uh, the SWOT analysis is very important for you to establish your own goals and throughout the years, you go back and see what you have acquired or not, and if not, what you could would, what you could could have done differently to make that happen and set yourself apart uh, from others. So, a SWOT analysis is a very important tool that uh, that we did, and it is important for someone to do it to access yourself and uh, base, basically challenge yourself. Um, I believe I deserve the, the full uh, points for this uh, uh, for this assignment because I think I've touched all points that the professor asked, and therefore I believe I I I can get the full credit for this um, presentation. Uh, again, thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, I'm Chateau Sicara, and thank you.